Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about what are called adjacent angles. Now, let's think about what the word adjacent means. Adjacent means right, right next to one another, right? So if I were to draw like a straight line, let's draw a couple of examples of adjacent angles. Let's put a point right in the middle, all right? So in a sense, and we'll call this point A, let's call this point B, and let's call this point C. A straight line, another way to look at a straight line is that they're two opposite rays, right? So ray AC would be exactly opposite from ray AB in this particular case. So a straight line really are just two rays going off in two different directions. Okay, so now, so what? So what if I did this? Now I took another ray, okay? And we'll call that D out here. Adjacent angles <coughs> share a common vertex. Remember, these are called vertex. So adjacent angles, well, let's just make a bunch of observations about adjacent angles, right? So adjacent angles share what? Well, they share a common vertex. So that's one thing that they share. What else do they share? Well, they share a common ray, right? Because this angle here, we call that DAB. So angle DAB also shares a common side or a common ray with angle DAC. So they would have a common ray. And if you want to think of that as a side, that's okay too. But they share a common ray with, in this case, angle DAC. You'll notice that the vertex is always in the middle of how you describe these, right? You never describe it like that. So the vertex is always like in the middle. Now in this particular case, these adjacent angles are supplementary. Now, what does that mean? So, angle, let's move it up a little bit, DAB plus angle D, oh, there we go, angle DAC are equal to 180 degrees. Now, how do I know that? Because I know that this particular line is a straight line. So these are called supplementary angles. So in this case, the adjacent angles are supplementary as well, right? But that's not always true. Let me show you an example of another, and I, and I can use this information, by the way, for lots of other things, but we'll save that for another, for another video. So let's go ahead and show you another example of an adjacent angle. Let's do this one, all right? Now, what do I know about this? We'll call this again A. We'll call that B. We'll call this C. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit more information here. I'm going to put this little square box in there. So, if, when you see this, you know that you have a right angle, right? So, this actually means a right angle. And if it's a right angle, you know that it equals 90 degrees. I'm going to do one last thing. And that's draw another ray coming out from A. And again, we'll call this one D. So again, these are adjacent angles. So angle D, A, B, in this case, is adjacent to angle D, A, C. All right, and in this case, the sum of the two angles equals 90 degrees. Those are called complementary. angles. 
Okay. Now, again, what do they do? Well, they have the same characteristics. Let's look a little bit above. Same characteristics that they share a common vertex and they share a common ray, just like they did up here, common vertex and a common ray or a common side. Again, in this particular case, it was supplementary because it was 180 degrees. And in this case, it was complementary because it was 90 degrees, but it doesn't have to be 80 or 90 either. Again, let me show you another example. I can have adjacent angles. Now, first of all, what kind of an angle is this one? We'll call that A, B, and C. What kind of an angle is this one? And if you set an obtuse, angle, you'd be correct, right? Because it's greater than 90 degrees. And I were to do something like this. Again, common ray, D. These angles are adjacent, but they're not complementary and they're not supplementary. And quite frankly, we don't even really know what this angle is, right? So since we don't know either one of these angles, we can't figure out what this angle is compared to this angle right here. Okay, so adjacent, again, just means that they're right next to one another, and you have really three different kinds of, you have four different kinds of situations. I could also just do this last one here. Let's make it a, let's make this kind of an angle. Those are my two rays, A, B, and C. Let's do an interior point. If you say that this angle here was an acute angle, we said this one was obtuse. This one's acute. And we still go ahead and, and bisect it and put something in the middle. Again, these angles are adjacent still. Right? O, B, A, D, an angle. D, A, C are adjacent. But again, we don't know what the sum of them are equal to. We just know that it was right in the middle of it, an acute angle. And in this case, we knew it was right in the middle of an obtuse angle. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Adjacent angles share a common ray, and they share a common vertex.